Hello friends, today in this video, we are going to discuss with the help of 3D animation, how the contactor works and it controls the load. So first of all this, L1, L2, and L3 are line connections at where input supply comes and connected there. During normal condition, the input supply will come from MCBSFU or isolator, and which is in on condition. So supply out from MCB and comes to the contactor contact. L1, L2, and L3. Now, at the opposite side of the contactor, T1, T2, and T3 are directly connected to the load. In this example, we have a motor as a load. As you see here, this A1 and A2 terminals are contactor coil terminals, so they are used to control the contactor. So, if we want to pick up and drop the contactor, we will do it with help of these A1 and A2 terminals. Friends, suppose the controlling of this contactor is 240 volt IC. That means, if we give this controlling supply between A1 and A2 terminal, then this coil will get magnetized and coil magnetizes, it will going to attract this moving plunger like this. And due to that open contact will get close. And then power will take a path and feed to the load. Now let's discuss how contactor controlling works. So first of all, phases loop with single pole control MCB. And as you on this MCB, supply will get out and come to stop push button. So this stop push button inside the contact is in C mean normally closed at time of stop push button is in released condition. And as stop push button release supply goes out from that and comes to start push button. Now start push button contact is normally open type means NO types. So as you press start button, it will change its normally open contact to close condition. So supply get out from the start push button and goes to the coil, a one terminal, as you see here, and neutral is directly goes to the A2 as shown here. So again, coil gets supplied and the coil will have energized and produce a magnetic field. And due to that, this top side core is moving core and the bottom core is fixed core. So moving core is attracted by the fixed core and moves down as you see here. And that's why this contact gets closed and the supply will get transferred from source to load. So as you remove your finger from the start push button, then it will cut down the phase so one supply gets removed. Due to that coil will get demagnetized and moving part will get move upside as you see here due to this spring tension. Hence contact are also get separated and supply will have discontinued from source to load. So this is how contactor works. Friends, if you would like to know how holding of contactor works, please comment. We will make video also on it. Thanks for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.